and I just remember, remember thinking, you're going to be okay. Here he is. Tearful emotion, words of relief. Alexandra and Michael Long are grateful their son William is okay. And we know that a lot of other families are not as lucky as us. Um, so we count our blessings every day. The two and a half year old toddler is fortunate to be alive. At eight months old, he was diagnosed with COVID, which led to symptoms, including a high fever, which triggered a seizure. Nothing beats, I think, a mother's intuition. Alex kind of woke up that morning and knew something was, was off with William. The concerned parents rushed William to Cohen Children's Medical Center, where he was admitted. An MRI revealed a lesion on the right temporal lobe in February 2021. At first, doctors thought that William's seizure was brought on by what's called cortical dysplasia, a common condition in babies where the brain cells fail to reach parts of the brain. After a series of follow-up tests, Dr. Sean Rogers discovered that the lesion grew into a tumor the size of an egg June 2022. COVID clearly was a silver lining here. It's bad luck. The lesion was there. He was either born with it or it was something that changed in it. And that was there. It was going to take some kind of fever, some kind of virus to cause him to have a seizure. My initial thought, honestly, was um, I have to go home and tell my wife that our son has a brain tumor. First, the shock, I think, kind of throws you off, so your your thought process is a little muddled. William underwent surgery last December. Here, Dr. Rogers points out the hippocampus located on each side of the brain, which houses memory. The tumor occurred on William's right hippocampus. The empty cavity is filled with fluid after everything was removed. William's memory now located on the left side of his brain. For him, he's, you know, he's got a cool scar and he's got a, he's going to have a cool story. But um, luckily, no real memory of this for him at, you know, being just two and a half years old. Now, gifts of gratitude between doctor and patient to solidify a bond that will last forever. Now, doctors say William has a clean bill of health, but will continue to monitor him every six months for the next 10 years.